So a variant of the hex exists I've only seen once, and that was ages ago due to researching another grenade which I covered in a video. Today I have this rare variant, and today we check out what it's capable of and compare it to the king of hexes. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it truly helps me out, and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. So this started ages ago with the upload of a specific hex grenade, where footage I was sent was claimed to be an actual in-game drop on PC while playing. The grenade itself, you guys noticed as well as I did, that although it had the hex stats, it also had the stats of the Quasar grenade tied into it as well. Watching this thing in action was just unbelievable. Now most people in the video in the comments section claimed it was a modded grenade. I wasn't sure as the guy was adamant it dropped while playing. I then saw a comment from someone on that same video stating they had this exact same grenade drop on Xbox. And with a little more information on it, it seems as though in ultra rare instances when both these grenades drop at the same time, somehow the game glitches and fuses them into a single grenade. That was the explanation I got. Either way, it isn't a grenade you can legit chase in game. But after seeing it in action and what it's capable of, and although it reads amazing, it splits into four, then spawns nine additional mervs. I mean, wow, but it is very unrealistic to think it's obtainable. But seeing this, I had a look around the internet and I found a hex variant which, although it didn't spawn nine mervs in, it did spawn in six. It's called the Merv Tacular, and today, thanks to my pal Trolling Donkey, who sent me this for review, we can see what this thing is capable of. Now, I have searched high and low. I have many, many friends who play the game who have done the same. None of them have come across this hex variant. So I'll go on to say it's got to be the rarest out of the bunch. Now because it's the rarest, does it mean it's the best? Well today we will find out, because I already have the current Hex King, the recurring Hex. Both of these are at the same item score, both offering that shock elemental damage, so comparing them will be an absolute doddle. So how does this Merv Tacular work? Well you throw an initial grenade that explodes and spawns 6 Mervs. Now each one of these 6 Mervs then go on to spawn another Merv, so in total 12 Mervs. And it makes sense with the double Merv stat. Now it's hard to see this amongst the fight, but if you throw it at the floor in front of you, it's quite easy to make out. So how is this different to the recurring Hex? Well, the recurring Hex actually spawns the exact same amount of Mervs. And this I believe is due to the divider stat on this variant. The initial grenade splits into two, then each spawns three mervs, equaling six, and each of these six spawn one of a merv, equaling 12 mervs in total, just like the merv tacular. So really there ain't much between these two at the moment. Comparing them stat-wise though, you can see the recurring hex as the slightest edge damage and radius wise. But because they're literally so equal, the only real thing I could do to compare the two was to face them off against the same boss. So on Mayhem 1, so modifiers didn't come into play, I threw one grenade of each at Gigamind and witnessed the results. So on screen now we can see both grenades against Gigamind's shield. One throw, and because they're both shock, we can see true effects here. Now looking at each damage wise, we can see that the recurring hex does have that slight advantage here. I'd literally say having 20 to 25% extra damage, which in reality to me isn't really a surprise. It's something I actually expected going into this test. And after a close inspection, I believe the only difference between the two and where that 20% extra damage is coming from is the divider stat on the recurring hex which makes the initial grenade split into two, and because the both grenades are impacting your mine at the same time, this is where the extra damage is coming from, because it also gains extra lingering damage too. So yeah, even though the Merv Tacular is the rarer of the grenades, it still can't stand next to the King. Now maybe there's a different variant out there, maybe there's a cloning version of this Merv Tacular, that really could make the difference here. But at the moment, the recurring Hex still reigns King. And like I said, even though the Merv Tacular is rarer it seems, the recurring hex, if hexes are what you want, is the one for you guys to chase. Now both of these are world drops, both of them are pretty rare to be honest. 
so you will need luck in finding them. So good luck to you. So the merv tacular, although it isn't a complete letdown, it still can't stand toe to toe with the recurring hex. Now I do have a few different variants of the merv tacular, and comparing them again against their recurring hex counterparts, the results are the same every single time. So yeah, it is what it is. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.